All right, guys, um, it's been a while since I've posted a video. Today we're going to kind of review uh, Kia's customer service and uh, kind of what they mislead you to believe. Bumper-to-bumper uh, -bumper warranty should be just that, covered bumper-to-bumper. -bumper. Now, this is purely based off moral opposed to the cost. This part in my hand is the weather strip that runs from the third kind of quarter window here all the way up to the B pillar. It's that weather strip right here. And I noticed the other day when I got out of the car wash that this piece was pulling up. So upon further investigation, there's two clips. One you can see is broke right here and the other one right there. So I went to the Kia dealer to get my oil changed, and um, I asked him about it. I figured, you know what, it, it, it's, it should be covered under warranty, right? I mean, you know, things popping out and not staying put, and that's all it is. I mean, cheap Korean plastic, I, I don't know. But nonetheless, it's, it, it should be covered under bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty. Um, two things, and one, this actually goes... Um, this touches base more on, on a parts knowledge aspect as opposed to uh, the, the customer service. But the, the parts representative had told me that I had to buy this whole window here. Um, and, and I told him I just didn't think that was right on, on account. It just popped in. And so um, then they had said, well, no, that, that's not covered under warranty because it's physical damage. And okay, I, I can believe that uh, to an extent, but at the end of the day, does it look like the car's been abused? Does it look like there was claw marks, you know, here around the edges where I tried prying it up and, and I broke it? Um, you know, they, there has to be some common sense. And again, it's $30, guys, whatever. You know, I clearly bought it and replaced it, but it's more along the lines of, of uh, misdirecting uh, your customers. And the fact that you buy a certified pre-owned, it comes with a six-year, uh, 60,000 bumper-to-bumper warranty and a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. And that's the big selling point for Kias right now because they still have the stigma that it's a bad car, that it's a terrible car. Now, again, I love my Stinger. And at the end of the day, again, $30, am I being petty? Uh, not really. I mean, it, it, it's... It's not about the money, guys. I just want to bring this to light that uh, there could be issues with your Kia warranty um, it, for, for instances like this. And the other thing that I'm going to tell you that I did is I had uh, just changed the spark plugs. We're going to go up around here and uh, visit something here real quick. And that is that this foam block, I guess this cover will have to come off. I was trying not there we go. So this foam block by my pinky here, that, that's kind of an isolator for this harness. As you can see here, whoop, as you can see here, I broke that. And I acknowledged that. And I even said it to him. I'm like, hey, if I got to order a new one of those, whatever, if you guys can push it through warranty, great. So I acknowledged I screwed that up while trying to claim that under warranty. So why would I lie about that one and and not this one. I mean, it it just didn't make any sense. But anyway, they uh, the parts representative also told me that I had to buy a whole new harness cover, which I didn't agree with. I got the foam coming. Not a big deal there either. Um, and then, yeah, that I ordered and obviously installed it myself. Um, and again, $30. But the downside is that bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty failed. So Kia, just so you know. You guys got to treat your customers right if you guys want to be back on the market. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.